Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. So I don't have anything special planned for today, guys, but I've noticed so, so many comments recently begging me for more Battle Cats, so how about I not let you down? So there are a few special stages going on right now, guys. One of them is Sweetest Sorrow, and apparently I'm only two levels into this one out of three. I don't remember doing any of these stages, and I don't know why I didn't just complete the third one as well, but I didn't, and uh, it's only a veteran stage, and there's an unlikely chance to pick up Marshmallow Cat. Oh, crap. It's that guy with the giant piece of poop with corn sticking out of it. <laughs> or something. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Some sort of, like, log or something. But, uh, yeah, it does look like a giant piece of poop. Okay, so this guy doesn't do a wave attack, which is good. I mean, like I said, it's just a veteran stage. I can't see it being very difficult, but... I thought this was the guy who does the uh, the big wave attack, which is obviously super annoying because then he hits like all your all your units. Come on, kill him before the birds get here. Damn it! What are you doing? Why haven't you done yet? Eh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Apparently there is a uh, a lot of health on this base, and also a lot of these really ugly dogs with hair who are also angels coming out of there. All good. Got a cat ticket and. A rare ticket and a cat CPU and a cat ticket and 15,000 points and first clear and I'm not gonna get the marshmallow cat but I'll just do it again. I didn't realize there were a whole bunch of uh, time score rewards for that one. Wow. Okay. That was just wonderful. I guess we'll go ahead and do the two star version of these stages since I didn't get the uh, unlockable yet. What's going on here? Use one leadership for- what the hell is a leadership? What is going on? No, I don't want to use my leadership. I don't even know what that is. Anyway, whatever. Let's continue. Is this stage still easy if it's two stars? It's supposed to be more difficult, right? And th th that's how it works when the stars go up, the levels get more difficult. But in the guide, it just says that it's easy, uh, b b hard expert. Easy, hard veteran. Hmm. It's this guy again. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, that's one way to do it. 50,000, 15,000, 5,000 cat CPU. Is that the highest I can get? I keep, I keep meaning to check and see what the rewards are, and then I just forget to do it. Okay, yeah, I got all those, and the next one is 150k cat ticket, 50k rich cat cat CPU. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Mar Marzi Pain. I don't know what Marzi Pain is, but... Sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, so uh, this level is kind of annoying. My uh, my Awakened Bahamut died, which is not good. So I'm thinking maybe switch up the strategy a little bit. You know, maybe actually pick something based on what's in the level. We didn't get the last one, did we? Oh my god, I cannot believe it. I got Gao this time, because um, that Cory, he's just uh, a regular old unit, right? He doesn't have a trait, he's just... Uh, I was gonna say yellow. I don't know what that is. Some sort of like bronzy color. Whatever. I wanted to put out the new Valkyrie here, guys, but um, she's only level 10, and I, I need to move fast here. My plan is not working out so well so far, but now we got Gao, so we just need to just need to kill him real quick. There we go. All right, so Gao took care of that. We still got the Awakened Bahamut uh, rolling in here, so let's just go ahead and... Uh, good. Oh, I still didn't get it. That was not cool. What am I doing wrong? Oh, you know what I should do? I should have a uh, pizza guy. Pizza cat, not pizza guy. But it is important that he's a guy because he used to be a girl, okay? He replaced my precious ring girl cat, and I'm still not over it. We're gonna send him out, okay? Man, come on. I'm just getting worse here. Hey, we got the marshmallow cat, so that's good. Activated the upgrade menu. I will. I will be right back with the Marshmallow Cat. Boom, look at that. Marshmallow Cat, a sugary treat who likes cuddling rough. Okay, uh, great, good for you. Wraps his enemy in jet puffed sweetness before viciously smashing them over and over. I mean, he sounds pretty good, doesn't he? I just want to see what's coming next. Creep Mallow. Quickly toasted over a roaring bonfire, his burning body brings back happy memories. Delivers powerful beatings with his soft body. There he is. 
Isn't he beautiful? And I think I realize what Creep Mallow is, guys, and I'm excited about it. Okay, so slam. That's what he does. And check this out. Oh, it's it's a mix of a marshmallow and gross cat, which is great because, you know, you don't get many opportunities opportunities to use gross cat because gross cat gets uh, sexy legs eventually. All right, guys, I'm using a rich cat because I just don't care. Okay. There we go. It worked. I just needed to get that awakened Bahamut out as soon as I could. That was literally the only strategy I needed. Now, cavity creeping time. I don't want to think about anything creeping in my cavity. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I guess we're in a cave. We're not. Great. Don't mind me just about to creep up into your cavity. Don't worry, he's a marshmallow. He likes it rough. Okay, here comes a whole bunch of them boys. So, let's be smart about this. Boom, 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 boom. Oh crap, I hit the wrong button. Just great. Oh well, we have enough money now. And we're gonna put out um, the new Valkyrie. I haven't even gotten a chance to use her yet. I don't know how good she is, but I heard she's pretty decent. She looks good, and that's uh, that's pretty important. Look, I know it's a game about using skill and strategy, blah, 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 but uh, at the end of the day, I wanna look at the pretty cats and cat-like things. All right, so this level took a lot longer, guys. Um, hopefully the requirements for rewards isn't that high. It probably is pretty high. I wish I didn't use my Awakened Bahamut on this guy, because he was a lot stronger than he was last time. And now that he's actually gone, I can't speed up the winning process, and that's losing me a lot of time. He's back now, of course, but that was uh, a lot of time lost. But just, uh, everybody chill. Nobody needs to come out and do this stuff to me. Gross, just gross. Cat CPU, cat ticket, 50,000, and my cat food, and one leadership! Wait a minute. So leadership is what you get when you beat a set of levels. Usually that would automatically refill your cat food, but I guess they decided eventually that, hey, you know what, a lot of the times that means people have to decide, am I gonna go play other levels or play this level? And with these leadership things, basically you get one token for, I just did that, I'm sorry. You get one token that you can use to refill your energy. So this actually makes more sense and it will mean that people playing the game will end up getting more bang for their buck. Anyway, uh, I was gonna go to Mallow March again, but you know what, no, I'm not gonna do that because we didn't get all the stuff on this one. Let me take a look here. Okay, I got all those eventually. I need 6,500 for the cat ticket. So definitely gonna get in there and I'm gonna do no Awaken Bahamut till after. You gotta actually meat shield this one. So Amaterasu is out here first, guys, because obviously she is great when it comes to any unit with a trait. This guy doesn't have one, but that's why I now have Gao out here as well. So he should be able to do a nice little stop there. Always nice when the enemy is not attacking you, you know? Ugh, oh, didn't get it. I got closer, but mm, I knew I screwed that up. I got a rare ticket, so that's pretty cool. You know, it's currently uh, Epic Fest. So, we could do a few draws. Why not? Okay. We got our welterweight. I, hmm. I'm gonna exchange this guy for NP, because I don't normally do that. Try again, what do we got? Come on. Okay, cool. I mean, I already got Kai. I don't really want to upgrade her with this when uh, I could get 50 NP or a million XP. Tell you what though, guys, just in case, uh, just in case that's a bad idea, I'll keep her for now, okay? Let's keep going. I mean, I still got seven of these things and um, I'm not sure what my next like good chance to get anything is. Most of the good opportunities to get an Uber in this game come from the guarantees. You know, you do the 11 draw and you're guaranteed one Uber, but you can't do anything like that with single tickets. All right, guys, I need to get that cat ticket. It's the one thing I didn't get in this level. So I'm leveling myself up a lot here so that when I kill these guys and get all the money, I'll be able to save it up because I always end up being maxed out. We just gotta, there we go, send out you. Okay, I did it. It wasn't that hard, I just needed to not tap one thing until the other thing was dead. All right, same thing again, but better. 
Well, it'll probably be worse, but I want it to be better. And also, I never really noticed how much those trees look like broccoli before. How was that? Was that all the things? I think it was. Okay, thank you very much. All right, guys, before we go any further, I think we should make one small change. I'm pretty sure we should have another meat shield because uh, just having two of them doesn't really seem to be enough. And this guy's only 45 cents. I don't know if that was enough. I don't think it was. Cat ticket. Oh, hang on a second. It seemed like a lot of stuff. Did I miss anything? I think I missed one lot of XP. I don't even know if I'll go back to get that. Yeah, look at the big difference here. I need to get an extra 1500 on my score and I don't really feel like doing that. Let's go back to creeping in some cavities. Same as the four, but better because I have three meat shields now. Mm. Okay. Good enough for me, guys. I'm not getting that last bit of XP, I think it was. I got other things I wanna do. Okay, I want to play Ritual Confusion. It's one of those lucky ticket uh, stages, worlds, whatever. Hang on to happiness. Mm. Sounds very inspirational. Okay, so it's basically a place to farm lucky tickets. It's an expert stage, which is kind of concerning because it's the first out of five. So they're probably going to get really difficult. Oh my god, would you look at that sushi talk? <laughs> Oh, uh, great. Yeah, that's that's cursed sushi that is here you go, buddy. You need uh, You need someone to kill you right now. Wait, this is technically a black unit, right? Which is uh, a really good thing for me because I've got pizza cat pizza cat loves killing blacks and that was it. Oh, oh there was another sushi dog, but It's all good. Next one is also expert guaranteed chance plus a likely chance. So very similar situation Hopefully, just as easy. Okay, so we got a dog who's not part sushi. Okay, so he was a lot tougher than I thought he would be. I'm assuming we're gonna get some sort of boss here though. There's no way it's just a white dog for the level. Mmm, there it is. So now we got a whole bunch of white dogs, plus we got a whole bunch of, of sushi dogs. But the level is just an expert stage, so kind of seems like a very, uh, a very big difference in the stages. Look at the range on this guy. I hate it. You know what? I'm just happy there's no time rewards in this one. Although, obviously, it's better for there to be rewards than not rewards. I would just get too caught up in whether or not I could beat the level fast enough to get them all. And we just gotta beat it and we're gonna beat it. Basic cake. No problem. Okay, the next level is called Eat Happy Sushi. I don't really know what Happy Sushi is, but okay, thanks for the advice. It's an insane stage, no problem. Now judging from the other ones, it might be a good idea to have Gao out here as quickly as possible. No, now we got uh, Alien. Okay, that was not expected, that's all good. I got a Matarazu, she's good against aliens and everything else with a trait. Uh, one of these big boys, absolute size of this lad. Wow, show him what you got, pizza guy. Oh man, you didn't kill him in one hit? Well, what are you even here for, huh? Two hits and you still haven't killed them? Pizza guy, you are losing your touch. Oh, there goes one. That means that we can beat them relatively quickly. Quick quick enough that they're not gonna pile up, I guess. Yeah, there's another one coming, so we do have to be careful here. And of course there's a rhino, which basically means that I can't beat the level. Because that is gonna be a whole giant pile of shit. I want him dead, and I want him dead now. Berserker cat. I choose you! So, uh, I didn't notice this last time, but, um, these dogs can one-shot Pizza Cat, so that's gonna be kinda difficult for me. I guess I need more range? I think we're, uh, we're hitting this guy with a Matarazu, at least. Hey! Alright, if it wasn't for that, guys, we wouldn't have done it. I was like, wait a minute, so it turns out this Rhino basically protects the dogs. What can you do? Well, if you get your crit in and you can kill the guy, you're good. Okay, let's do Expired Joy. Also an insane stage. What do we got here? You. And a bunch of you, probably. We need to get these dogs under control as quickly as possible because the guy in the chair is coming and he's not gonna be very nice when he gets here. Oh boy, what are you doing? He didn't hit my Amaterasu, which is nice. I think we might have a bit of a problem here, guys. Just a, just a tiny one. Okay, so this is the aftermath of my struggle, guys. There's no more dogs coming, but this guy is still alive, obviously. 
It would be- oh great, I should not have used that here. It would have been uh, really convenient if I had something that stops black units, but I don't. Uh, and as you can see, Gao does not outrange this guy, he's gonna die. Uh, I think I should probably just send out Awaken Bahamut. Just meet shield until I have enough for him. There we go. Just gotta get the timing down. And I only needed to hit him one more time, so, uh, no surprises here, right? No whammies, just, just done. This last stage, guys, is a deadly stage. I do not like that, but if I beat it, I get three lucky tickets. Um, I wanna go in there real quick for less than 10 seconds and just see what's there, because I think we're gonna get a lot of black. Oh. Okay, yeah. We're gonna keep Gao for that ugly, disgusting sloth thing, and the rest is gonna go, uh, Anti-black. Here is our loadout. I put Bomber Cat in here because he's really good at uh, stopping black enemies. It's just this guy coming up right now. So if I can get Bomber Cat out there and some other meat shields, I might be able to... Oh god, here they come. Here we go. Boom, we stopped him. He gets back up again and stops him again. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. We gotta, we gotta do that again. Bomber Cat comes back pretty fast, so he's, you know, really useful here. I took a big risk here, guys, using Awakened Bahamut, but it seems to be paying off. He hasn't died. I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed right now. Just gonna keep bringing up my wallet here. Uh, of course there's a Hippo. There better not be anything else because I took out my Berserker Cat because I didn't think there was gonna be any metal in here. I was hoping there wouldn't be. And I wanted to put, um, Ultralan in because he's, he's a fun guy, okay? Okay, let's just go ahead and leave, because I know that's not gonna work. Uh, I don't think I need Ultra Land anyway. It would have been fun to have him here, but, uh, let's put Berserker Cat back in and we'll be good. Come on, buddy. I need you to take him out. I need that to happen. One more try. You're dead. You friggin' died on me. Damn it. Okay, so, not working out here. Really not working out. They're at the base now. I'm gonna die. How do I prevent this from happening? I have one idea, maybe use Catsaurus because he can come back quicker. And the boss was down at 35, so I think I can do this. All right, I'm gonna develop some talents on this guy, bring down his price a little bit because, you know, it's always nice to have a lower price. And then I'm gonna put, uh, put some into critical. Okay, so I'm at max, level five. That's uh, good enough, let's give that a shot. Oh, uh, level cap up. Yeah, let's use one, I got a bunch of those. And upgrade, cool. Okay, so there's a lot of critical hits happening, guys. That's because I threw out a whole bunch of Catasauruses. But as soon as that Metal Hippo comes around, he should get critted, I think. So I'm hoping we can uh, do that, and then I can send out Awaken Bahamut. We can try and storm this stupid loser. Here we go! Okay, we're not quite close enough to do it. And he's about to attack! What happened? I don't know. He's attacking. I've not been hurt. Come on, why haven't you critical hitted? There we go. Jeez, sometimes it takes a long time. We're at this guy now. He should be very close to dying now, guys. We just need to... Uh, oh, I thought it was gonna be it. We just need to get more Catasauruses out here to get rid of this guy in the front. Come on, Catasaurus, you're not doing your job! There's several of you and you haven't critical hit at him yet. At least, uh, at least they're not dying from the sloth. You know, there we go, we got it, we got it, we got it. I'm not sure how I even feel about that, guys, because not having a metal hippo there really exposed us to the wrath of the the sloth thing. It's dead. We did it. We beat the deadly stage. Let's go ahead and win. Boom! We can add that to my list of deadly stages I've completed. It's not a very long list, I can tell you that. Got my stuff, got my leadership. All good, man. All good. I'm gonna end it there, guys. We did it. As for the next video, guys, I think it's gonna be on the new event coming out on the 18th, and I also wanna do this for a video real soon. Shishalan, Pasalan. You guys really want me to upgrade this guy, so I'm gonna make it happen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.